Uh, okay, I will show you how you can create a simple pagination with TypeRM. So first thing, I will just start from scratch in this uh, route. So from the query, I will destruct two things. So first one is uh, per page. And this is, this is means uh, how many records you want per page. And the second one is the page, which page you want. And everything else I will just put inside a variable called the queue. Now I will define two variables. One is called real page type number. Second one be real tick also type number. And the real page, uh, this is how many elements we will skip. So type or M accepts when you do want to do pagination, accepts two things. So the skip would be the real um, page and the tick. So how many elements we should take? This is like the limit operator or the limit clause in the SQL world. So take will be uh, the real take. So when you say page two, we need to skip 20 elements. Okay, this is the real page. And when uh, you, you, specify, so you specify per page equal to 10, this is the real take. But I will do them inside uh, two separate uh, variables because I need to handle some cases maybe the user did not pass these uh, what we will, what we will do in that case so I would just check first thing if you passed per page the real tag would be equal to the per page the number of that so this is these are strings by default so I would just convert that to number but else I will make the per page equal to 10 as a string and the real tag would be equal to 10 this is the default after that I will check if you pass the page the real page will be equal to the plus page and if that is equal to 1 so the page means sorry this means we will not skip anything we will start from the 0 record so don't skip anything if you if the page is 1 uh, else uh, just page minus one times the real tag and else real page would be equal to zero and page would be equal to the default which is one and now I'll define variable called const find options so tag would be the real tag and the skip would be the real page and the where remember that we have something like this in the previous video I will destruct the query again here the rest of the query and before I call the return statement I'll just check if we don't have the query just delete the where so from five options delete the where and now I can return this but for that let me define a function so it's called get query because I need to have uh, a next and the previous links and if the user passed the query which is this this variable I need to add that query to the link for in the previous and the next um, so this will be equal to a function that returns object.keys to the queue and map that uh, so each key thing I will map it to key equal now uh, queue of, and access the key property and at the end join that array into a single string with the and operator and I will return an object and the first thing is the data which will be equal to await the user repo to find and just pass the options the find options but you need this this function needs to be async so like this and happy is good and smart but it won't realize that you have a promise uh, inside your object so it won't resolve that so this will be empty so that's why I need to await it uh, if you just return a promise, it will notice that, but anything else it won't. 
Now, our details, so some, some useful information. So per page is the real tag. And the page will be equal to the page as a number or one, if that is uh, not, not, not exist. And next will be equal. So my recommendation when you want to construct the link is you should have a .env file and each place you access uh, something like uh, something uh, critical like the database connection should be added in the .env file or something like this which is the URL to the API but since this is just a demo I will just put it here so let me copy the URI like this and then uh, just put pair page equal the real tag and page would be equal to oops and page as this thing would be equal to the plus page plus one and execute the get the query function here and also we'll have the brief which is previous and this will be just the page minus one right and i think that's pretty much it so let's run it hopefully i did not miss anything okay so let's go for now i'll remove these i'll return them so we have this data and we have the next and the previous uh, it's not that good because <laughs> uh, the page here zero exists so let's go to page one i think yeah because we have this and this is the So I will fix this, but uh, this is because this and. So if there is a query params, this will work. If not, it won't. So I will, I will fix it. But for now, let's just uh, try it with the query parameters like this. So as you can see, this, the, everything you pass as a query parameter exists here. So if we just pass something like this, maybe where type something more useful type equal admin. So we have this array of 10, 10 elements. Per page is 10, the page is one, and the next page is this. So let's go on to the browser, it's something, it's more organized. Let's just close post mine. Okay, so this is the next page, which throws an error. Yes, because this should be a question mark, sorry. So this is the third page now, and the fourth page. At some point, this is empty, uh, which is not which is correct. But uh, you can you can handle these cases. You can if, if the array is empty, you can just remove the next and just keep the previous. And if the if you are in page one, you can remove the previous because it's not exist. And you, there is of course a room for improvement, but this is the main idea. And let me just fix this thing with the hand. So. I think what we can do is const uh, query parameter will be equal to get query and if that is equal to if the length length of that is equal to zero just it will be uh, empty string else it will be the get query with the end like this I mean, I'm calling the get query multiple times, but like this. I'm pretty sure there is a library that will build a URL, URL for you, but um, I, would, I, would just want, I just wanted to show you the basics. So let's start from, from uh, 
star so type equal admin we, sh we should see these which is correct this this was this were already working but let's just remove everything so this is the next which is correct and everything still works um I, anyway i know i'm it's not maybe not that clear but um, at least this is the starting point but maybe you can search online you can find something maybe will create pagination for you but these are the basics